This is our cemetery in Gobongo. It's where we put our loved ones when they are dead. I just lost my mom recently. My mother passed away in 2002 in August. My father passed away when I was three years. I live with my grandmother because I have no parents. I don't think we've got enough space to bury the people here. My father was passed in 2003. My parents died. And my parents left me while I was doing grade, grade 9. We had a younger brother than me, so he too passed away. If it's getting full, we don't know where we'll put our dead people. You've seen how HIV and AIDS have just decimated this community. And these children need somebody to help look out for them. They are struggling because there is no one. They don't have nothing. Sometimes they cry and you, and you, you feel that. In the future, I would like to be a businesswoman. I'm teaching. Climatologist. I like to be a lawyer. I would like to be a social worker. I would like to be a teacher. Without education, the future of these children will be will be nowhere, and they stay at home, and that is the end. There's a narrow window of opportunity for these children where they're making critical choices. If these kids can get an education. They have access to this first world economy. They've got dreams, they've got goals, it will change the whole society. I would like my life of my children to be nicer than mine. I will grow badly, but I would like them to grow nicely. And I'll teach them how important uh, education is so that they have a brighter future. And I wish every person could look into their eyes and imagine a dream for these children. They are going to thank him and you about it when their life is better.